This is a complete guide on how to use a snipping tool. So you want to head over to search and type in snipping tool. Click on it. Now once you're on this, we have different modes that we can select. So by default, it's going to be on rectangle mode. You want to click on new. And now you can take a screenshot in like a rectangle, just like this. Now the second mode is window mode. Once you select window mode, you want to click on new. And then click once. And it will take a full screen picture of what's on your screen. Now the third mode. Is full screen mode. You know, click on new and it will take a picture of your screen. And if you have any other monitors, it will take pictures of what's in your other monitors as well. So here's my main monitor that you can see right now, and I have two monitors beside it. And this is also on the screen of my other monitors. So it's taking a full screen picture of all my monitors. Now, the last mode is called freeform. Click on new and then you could just draw it. You could just draw where you want to be captured. I'll give another example. Click on new. You can just draw like, you can just draw anything really, you know, capture like this. If you've taken a screenshot, you can actually copy and paste it by clicking on Control C and then Control V to the place where you want to paste it. You could also save it anywhere you want. So you want to right click on the screenshot, click on Save As, and then you can choose where you want to save it. Just click on Save. And I'll have it right here. You could also add a delay. For example, I put in three second delay, and then you want to click on New. I'll be able to screenshot whatever I want in three seconds time. This could be useful, for example, if you want to capture something at the exact right moment. You could also click on the three dots and then click on settings. Now you have some options here where you can automatically save your screenshots so you take to your screenshots folder. For me, this was actually quite annoying because I take a lot of screenshots and my screenshot folder has thousands of screenshots in it. So I just turn this off. You could also open screenshots in different windows. You could also add a border to each screenshot and then you can select the color right here. You could adjust colors for screenshots taken on HDR monitors. And there's even more settings down here as well.